morning. Sunny day, lovely, at the end of August. I'm in Hackney, uh, outside Hackney Central Station today. A uh, quick video just to go to a couple of the stations and see some improvement works, new entrances that have taken place in here at Hackney Central, and then we'll nip over to Imperial Wharf. But let's check out this station first. Now, don't get your Hackney stations confused. It was only a couple of years ago, pre-lockdown pandemic, so it feels like years ago, that we uh, did uh, Hackney Wick, a new station there, because there's all the Hackneys. This is Hackney Central, uh, which is also linked through to Hackney Downs. If you've never seen that connection, uh, I might show you that. But at the moment, the access is through, or was until the new entrance, down this sort of uh, narrow, and not entirely flat, quite steep uh, path. Uh, and that was the way into uh, this side on the north side of the station. And there's now an entrance over on the south side. Hackney, of course, a really old uh, station, the first station in Hackney, where I think the old building is the one we might have seen in the opening shot, is from 1850, was replaced by another one in 1870. Um, and look down here, even the modern day platforms are kind of narrow and it gets very congested. So all the improvements here are all about upgrading it so that it's less congested. The lifts were added uh, back in 2015 when the walkway passage, which I'll just do a quick shot of in a second, uh, was added in. But what they've actually done with the new entrance, which we'll get to over there, is add in a second staircase just here, which brings you up to this overbridge footbridge, just to help ease the general congestion that you get here at Hackney, because it is really busy. It's a very busy station. Just going for the comic angle by walking backwards. It's quite a good visual effect, because uh, as you can see, behind me, uh, built in 2015, and I don't think I've ever featured it in a video before, is this uh, connector, this connecting passageway between here, uh, Hackney Central, uh, and then Hackney Downs, which is just down there. Before you had to walk on the street, separate gate lines to connect between the two, but this uh, means you can go between the Central and the Downs, that way. the camera up high in the corner lift shot just to show you what the lift looks like. Yeah, the lifts aren't new, but it's always good just to highlight the fact that there is step free and lifts at a station. Uh, I've only been here like since 2015 though. What is new is where I'll take you to now, which is the new entrance. So you've got the steps down, platform one, that's the westbound platform and the waiting room, and then the new entrance is uh, this way. Uh, so here we go, this is the new way in, way out. Whilst there is a new entrance on this side, it isn't step free. Uh, there are these steps here, I've employed this person. Morning. Morning. To count them for me. How many are there? 22. 22. Thanks, Jeff. New gate line, new gate line. Now, the other week at uh, Barking Riverside, I made a big fuss about how it uh, was the only station. It's not the only station. Uh, somebody did at least it in the comments, but in terms of dedicated bike racks, there is one here. I say bike rack, bike storage facility. There is now one here uh, at Hackney Central Station. Uh, this may be more of a Hackney Council thing than a TFL thing because it's locked, so clearly I think we need to register, get a key, but in there it's nice to see dedicated, secure uh, bike storage, which is great. So sat by the, uh, the new entrance, so it's on the southern side, primarily it serves the westbound platform, but you can of course via lift and footbridge get to the eastbound platform uh, on Graham Road here, where I'm pretty sure they've installed, uh, the council have put in a new pedestrian crossing as well, I'm told, I'm reliably informed that they've recited, they've moved a couple of the bus stops here in the last month to allow that configuration to happen. It's quite funny, if you drop onto Street View as I did, because I was like, well, it was here before, it was just like a fence and a bit of wasteland, a bit of property that uh, Hackney Council owned. And actually it was funded the whole thing by the DFT, not TFL. Uh, but it's just nice because it means another quicker way in, uh, relieves the congestion. As we said, quite a congested station. Uh, I like the, uh, the green walls, the foliage growing over there. You've of course got the bike rack and the lighting is all uh, LED too, which saves money in these times when everyone's worried about their energy bills. Oh, and there's a rather cute 100% plant-based coffee shop as well. So I might get a quick cup of tea and then we'll head off to Imperial Wolf.
Just as I was leaving, it suddenly occurred to me that if I asked nicely to the man on the gate line, do you have a key to the bike storage facility? He might say yes, I did. He had, here's a quick two second cutaway of the inside of the bike storage facility. over the top of the North London line uh, on a Clapham service and we'll jump out at Imperial Wharf. Made it to, uh, oh, just in time, doors beeping Jeff, made it to Imperial Wharf and uh, there's a new entrance exit down here. Uh, if you've never been and you don't know, Imperial Wharf has got this slightly unusual configuration as in uh, it's an elevated station, platforms high up either side, and there's like this sort of staircase that goes round and round by quite a few levels on each side, and the staircases can get quite congested. What's the most interesting thing about it, though, is that there's two separate gate lines, as in, if you want southbound trains, you have to come in on one gate line, and if you want northbound trains, you have to go in on another gate line. Don't go in the wrong gate line at Imperial Wharf. And I've arrived on the southbound, over on the north line, there's now a second new gate line. So what you have uh, for the northbound gate line at Imperial Wharf is that there's the original uh, entrance and then uh, there's a big sign uh, to the side saying platform two, uh, northbound this way, and then a new, 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 new gate line that leads to this, the, this long uh, path up again. This is a DFT funded thing, not paid for by TFL. Uh, and it's because somebody realized that at this end of the platform, uh, there was already uh, an escape route, uh, a gate from the platform and some steps down. And so what they've done is just add this long passageway in. It just means that you can uh, direct passengers up here, maybe send them in this way and then out via the stairs, which at busy times, at peak times, and I believe it is only in use at peak hours at the moment. And it's incredible to think, I mean, it's a good thing that Imperial Wharf is that busy, a uh, relatively-ish newish station. It's not like it's been here a hundred years. Uh, it's so busy that it does need this new, uh, this new entrance. Uh, and then when you get to the end of the corridor, there are some steps. Hang on, just we don't have to do the hilarious double Jeff steps thing again. I just the cat I don't know how to do it. Uh, how can I do this? Oh I know. There is step for access at this station. The lifts are back down at the original entrance, but here he comes. Morning. Yeah, if you do come in this way, you do have to go through this number of steps. Let's find out. How many, Jeff? 28. 28. And that brings you out to here, to the northbound platform, towards the northern end of the northbound platform. So the original exit entrance is down there. So this will also spread out passengers uh, along the length of the platform as well uh, to ease congestion here at Imperial Wharf, which is really good. And note, by the way, that the color of the roof on the, uh, the waiting room there matches the color of the, uh, the roof on the canopies there, matches the color of the roof on the new walkway. So that's kind of cool too. Uh, I think that's it. So thank you for counting the steps. You're welcome. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, press subscribe, loads more on the channel. Those are your new entrances at Imperial Wharf and Hackney Central. See ya.